Hello everybody. I wanted to show you a tulip tree we got. It took me and the missus uh, 10 years baby in that tulip tree. And it's just gotten finally as tall as I am. <laughs> I guess it's about 5'10", 5'11", but uh, something out there in the woods over there is probably a deer. But I never know up here because right there, going down that road, uh, right there in front of where our land ends, a bear crossed in front of me last year. So I never know what's up here. I've seen the mountain lions up here right on the, right past over there in the bend of the road there. Uh, he crossed right there where the property clear is ends right there, the trees in. And I was going to work that day and he crossed in front of me. So he was a big old mountain lion. He, not big. He was half grown, but you know, mountain lion's a mountain lion. <laughs> but anyway, we set a record today. That's why I came on the channel. And I'm trying to keep, for everybody, trying to keep the camera a little still here. And there's a solar field. And if you look where this telephone pole is, right off to the right is the setting sun. So you can see how my solar field is positioned and the sun is right in the back of them. So I lose about two and a half kilowatts. I mean, two and a half hours of production a day so I could have it for the winter time and it, and it works fantastic. But um, the solar panels are producing all day about 15 and a half kilowatts, charging the car, running the house. So I lost four kilowatts of production because of the heat. Okay, now, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Anyway, you see how much air I got up under those solar panels, right? Well, and I still lost 20% production because of the heat. Okay, that shows you how much you lose during the heat, from heat. Four kilowatts, 20%. But there's a view of the mountains as a setting sun. But we're going to go on in here, and I'm going to show you what we produced today. Now, I didn't plug the car up till 1130, so if I would have plugged the car up at 10, I would have hit the mark that I told you in the last video, I thought, about 115 kilowatts. So, I'm very happy. It tells me exactly how much batteries I need, how much this solar field can produce, how much more I need to be totally independent and, and take this power line right here off. <laughs> I'm about $10,000 away from it. That's what I need to know. I've never been able to fully know how much these solar panels are producing because I don't export to the grid. Everything, I have to be able to store it or use it to tell me what these things are doing. But I'm very pleasantly surprised I'm thinking about putting up another 10 more kilowatts is all I need. So I'll have a right at a 30 kilowatt solar array will get me <clears throat> energy independent. And then it also explains how much batteries I need. So I needed that information. I'm wait, waiting for the winter time now that I have the batteries, right? To see what is producing, to know how many batteries I need. And then bam, I'm there. So... That's what I'm looking for. You know, you can calculate it every which way, but until you see production, what your equipment's doing and everything, you can't fully calculate what you need to get off grid. But anyway, let's go inside here. Let me turn you away from the sun. <laughs> and you might be pleasantly surprised what we did today. I've got you on solar mate here, so let's pop this up. Can everybody see that? 104.3 kilowatts today. Confirm it. Oh, oh where is it at? <laughs> well, it definitely ain't charged, they ain't. 786 kilowatts 
that's what happens when you mess with these. This solar mate and that dang thing don't work so well. So let's close this thing and see where we're going with this. Yep. See, I don't understand why that solar mate interferes with that M80. But it does. Anyway, that's another thing I'm gonna have to work with. See, I hate software. <laughs> as soon as I turn that, the last time I used that solar mate, it crashed that M80. And now it's, it's messed around with it again. So I ain't messing with that no more. I don't know why it does that. But anyway, we're pulling 34 ki uh, amps right now. We've been, we were pulling 60, between 50 and 70 all day. But just to run the ACs and everything, and the fans and all that, we're pulling 30 amps. That's uh, what? Seven, seven and a half kilowatts all day long, all night long. That's why you have to have a huge battery bank. I mean, you're gonna run air conditioners, you're gonna have to have more batteries, more batteries, more solar panels, more solar panels, and an inverter that can handle the amps. All right. So, I just wanted to share that with everybody. Uh, it's fantastic. 104 kilowatts. I finally broke the record. And I know that the panels can produce 115 kilowatts a day during the summer with a 20% loss in, in, from heat when it's really hot. So that's information I needed. Now I've got to go around and unplug this M80 and try to get it to work again after I turn on that solar main. Ah, I hate software. That's why this system is not connected to the grid. I don't know. When they do the game on those computers, all heck breaks loose. But thank you for all the information about helping me with these inner keys and trying to get these things to work. Uh, I'm going to try to call 24-7 watts and see if they can help. Uh, I got a hold of me and seeing if they're going to tell me whether or not we can use these TTL ports. So I'm trying. I mean, I'm trying to make the best BMS possible out there. Simple BMS. Because all the BMSs you see, man, you go through everything and three quarters of stuff, you don't know what it is. And you don't want to mess with it. Because you're going to mess something else. If you don't know what you're doing, don't be typing stuff in. Just like that solar make, just what it did. So I want a simple BMS talking, sh showing, using the uh, active balancers for the cell voltages and doing it what I just wanted to do. I just wanted to do five things. Temperature, over voltage, over voltage recovery, under voltage, under voltage recovery, and I don't want nothing else. That's all I need. I hope that one of y'all can to have these four amp knee balancers or the Helltech balancers or these 10 amps can find a way for these things to tell us if they can talk to a BMS board. That would be fantastic. I mean, that would help everybody so much. But anyway, God bless. We're at 288 on the on the all-in-one inverter, powerful inverter video. I guess we're not going to get to 500. I was hoping we would, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So, I'll make an announcement about that later on. But everybody, God bless. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye.